Good afternoon, Pep. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, the win against Mönchengladbach was your 19th in a row, so you've got the chance to extend that to 20 tomorrow against West Ham. Now, you told me that, if anything, that it actually becomes easier the longer this winning run comes keeps going on. And I, but I just wonder how the group is enjoying the challenge of keeping the run going. The challenge is not to do 20 and 21. The challenge is to win a bit of West Ham. This is the only challenge that uh, that we have. I said many times, the results, the runs, is consequence the day by day. What we have to do. You've got Kevin De Bruyne fit again, and he's the sort of character that always wants to play. Can you give us a bit of an insight into the balance that you're having to find between the temptation, I suppose, to start him, but also just trying to make sure that he doesn't have any setbacks? He's he's fully fit. He was fully fit against Galapag as well. So I'm not going to say anything differently that uh, how key, important, decisive player is Kevin for us. So in the last part of the season will be, he must be so important. Given he's so important to you and has been over the last couple of years, he still hasn't signed his new contract. I just wonder why that process is taking so long. I don't know. I'm not involved, but there's still Kevin has a two or three more years contract. So mm, I'm not involved. I'm sorry. Thank you, Ben. Next, we're going to go to Hugh Ferris. Hi, Hugh. Uh, hi, Pep. Good to see you. Um, I heard a couple of people describe your win over Gladbach as easy. When you when you hear people say that you have had an easy game because you've controlled and a game and beaten them. How do you react to that? Unfortunately, it's what it is. And with the same system, we win as easy as you are a genius. And when the same system we lose, we are a disaster. So don't listen much, honestly. The best thing in this country is uh, speak less than, for example, in Spain, in Italy or in Germany. So here uh, is quite better. So in that terms, it's not... Uh, it's not a big problem. The problem is always to know what uh, what the game was, what did you do, what they have done to get out Shakhtar Donetsk and, uh, and Inter de Milan alongside Real Madrid in a different group of stage. I know Gladbach quite well because I was working in Germany three years. And I know what means Gladbach in Germany and the quality of this club is one of the historical teams in Germany by far. So, and I know how difficult is everything, what we are doing, how complicated it is. That is maybe it's not going to happen again in our lives. So that's why it's, uh, it's uh, when I saw the game, still I could not see it because we didn't have much time. I was focusing on West Ham, but I will have time to watch it. My feeling is uh, was difficult to beat them. It will be difficult the next round, uh, the second leg. It was a good result for us. Um, and we had to do many, many good things to do the game like it was. But there's a difference, isn't there, between something being easy and something being made to look easy. Can you give us an insight into how hard your players have to work to give the impression to people that it's easy? It's never easy. Today, the managers are incredible, well prepared. The teams are physicality, mentally, and, uh, and the ideas they have. So Gladbach is able to beat uh, Bayern Munich, is able to 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 play incredible well against Madrid and beat Shakhtar, destroy Shakhtar in two games. So in Champions League, the only a little bit advantage that we had that, that we didn't play in Gladbach in Germany in a neutral venue. We we play like last season, for example, when we play against Madrid with the spectators, and when they come here without the spectators. So sometimes it happened, but I know I know exactly what we 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 had to do to beat them and what do we have to do to beat them again? And when you played West Ham in October, the first time you played this season, I think it was the first time that you hadn't won in all the games that you played against West Ham. So you already know how much of an improvement they've shown this season. After I don't know how many features we have played, how many games uh, uh, we played, they are in Champions League position. That is not a good run for one month, two months. It's on many, many months and they are there. So it means how strong. So 
What I saw is the rhythm they play is increased a lot in the previous seasons. They, they play in rhythm more and more calm. Now we are more aggressive. They are a fantastic players like Declan Rice. A big admirer of him as a football player. And uh, Antonio is always a headache uh, for his movements and for uh, his dangerous instructor. So it's a... David Moyes, uh, I admire this type of persons like uh, Roy Hudson, like they're incredible long, long careers. I would love to have these long careers for many, many years and have this passion to, to be managed and to do the job. Um, always he take care of me. I cannot forget my first game in the Premier League. It was against, I think, so Sunderland, I think so, against he was the manager there. And uh, he was so kind to me. He gave me some advice about the Premier League. Uh, yeah, so the good, you know, I have friends like as a big supporters from uh, Come On You Irons. So, yeah, uh, we will see what happens tomorrow. Thank you, Hugh. Next, we go to James, James Savundra. Okay. Pep, just going on to David Moyes, how much do you admire the job that he's done this season? Some people have gone as far as saying he's the manager of the season so far in the Premier League. The, the season speaks for itself. So the way he understands football, he does perfectly. <laughs> a lot of experience. I know these managers. I think I dream one day arrive in this position that everything is like Carlo, Carlo Ancelotti. It's, everything is calm. So it's like they live like a a, karma, a, a Buddha, you know, uh, life. You know, in the good moments are calm, in the moments are calm. And I think he gives you the experience, you know, to do to do this. And uh, yeah, it's a, a real tough game tomorrow, real tight game, because uh, all the big clubs offer against them. And and uh, yeah, a good team. After the Gladbach game, you said that we have to be more clinical. Is that the main area that you want to see improvement? Just a little bit more quality in the final third? No, it was this game. It's analysis on this game. In general, we are so good. So it doesn't mean that... And... Uh, and the chance that we had, you have to try to convert if you want to become a better, better, better team. Thank you, James. Uh, next, we'll go to Mike Minet. Mike. Hi, Pep. Um, just, just when you were talking about David Moyes there, you said he gave you some advice in that first game about the Premier League. What, what did he say to you? What was that advice? And has it stuck with you? Try to buy the best wine as possible to invite the manager when you win the game. Brilliant. Um, I was just wondering, on, on Tuesday night, you, you talked about having the money to buy the best players in order to win the trophies and the titles, but surely it has to be a little bit more than that. The, 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 there's the coaching aspect to it as well, to give yourself some praise that you have, you know, it takes more than just money to win these trophies. Of course, there are many more things. The first, the first of all, have a, an incredible, strong organisation. Uh, a good, uh, incredible, lovely people, the backroom staff, the staff, and the players especially. But when you achieve what we, this team, this club achieved in four years, winning a lot, a lot amount of games, it's because you have to have a top players. So you can win one title with a average players. To win a lot of titles, you have to need a, a top, 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 top players. And three top players, Cost money. That was my reflection. So it's not sarcastic. It was the truth. So when Bayern Munich or Barcelona or Madrid or uh, United or Juventus or Milan or in that case <laughs> Celtic, the Glasgow Rangers, Celtic, Celtic, the Glasgow win more titles in 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 the Scotland because they have more money than the other clubs. So uh, the way we are doing, every manager has his own way. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Uh, next, we go to Simon Stone. Hi, Pep. Do, does he? Does that bother you? Because 
people talk about money and obviously you need money to get good players, but unless you've got a system and unless the players are capable of executing a game plan, you won't win. There's a lot of teams that have spent a lot of money that didn't win anything. Yeah, we have this uh, this story behind us. So always we'll, I think we'll be with us. So, but um, that's true. When listen, when not just one journalist, many, 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 many journalists. The reason why, the only reason why we win is the money should be true. So we can accept it. So they did another clubs that you spend or the budget they have are higher than us. Yeah, yeah, I know it. But we have that. We have to live with this. But like I said before, with Magmini, Mane is the same. So at the same side. We have incredible strong organization, the club supporting all of us, the backroom staff, the work ethic that we have, all the club in all departments. It's incredible. It's incredible. But it's incredible. It was in Barcelona, it was in Munich. It's, it's there. So it's not just me talking myself. All departments in the club, pff, they're a machine. And that's why the organization is, is strong, it's tough. We want to more and more and more and do it. But to won what we have done, not this season. So the last four seasons, we won a lot of games in all competitions, arriving in many finals, win a lot of titles. You have to have a good players. It's impossible to do it in this sustain for a long time with just average players. And top players cost money, but cost money for the top clubs in Europe. But when the people, many people and all around the world, especially in some countries, said the only reason why is this one, okay, we accept it and Try to work and do it better. Do do other clubs? Do people talk about other clubs spending money, or do you think it's just you or Man City? It's it's a is a that's that's come for us. So I would say, uh, yeah, because we were not there. You know, we were not there in the last 30, 40 years playing with the elite clubs, and still we are. What are they doing here? And uh, and to be there, you have to yeah spend like before spend years uh, when United won and won and won because they spend more money than the other ones. And 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 Barcelona Madrid was the same. So uh, it's it's uh, it's like this. But I I don't feel we are much much different than the top elite clubs in the world in that terms, honestly. But we have this. We have to accept it and do the best job we can do as best as possible. <laughs> okay, next we go to Fred Caldera. Hey, Fred. Hi, Pep. I, I would like to talk about, about Gabriel a bit. Um, I believe that you are pleased with his form overall, but that that chance that he missed on the second half against Borussia, do you think that lack of instinct to go and to score the goal, it seemed that he waited for another player to come for him to, to, to make the pass. Uh, do you think that is the main aspect of his game that he needs to develop? The, the aspect for Gabriel is happened because he's so generous. He's so lovely. And uh, he always thinks for the team, not for himself. If he was a little bit more egoist, he would have scored much more goals. So that's why, <laughs> of course, that moment he knows it. He knew it in that moment. He's the first who feels bad for himself, for the team. But when you see what he gives us, what he, you see what he produced to us, I don't have any anything to say. Completely the opposite. So he's still young. He will improve. He will improve. And in the moment uh, he will arrive, his composure in front of the keeper, in front of the, you know, have this half second the more patient to take the right decision, he will get it through the years. It's like a good wine. Do you think he needs to develop this selfishness a bit? No, 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 I like what it is, but just to be more calm in front of the goal, to be, you know, to be more, okay, now I'm going to, to do it, and he, he will learn it. He's so young, he will learn it. Thank you, Fred. Uh, last question for the embargo, we'll go to Paul Ballas. Um, you can start using the raise hand function if you've got questions. Yeah. Buenas tardes, Pep. Um, hola. Um, there's been like a lot of talk about the improvement that your team has has experienced. Um, if I'm not wrong, you are the team that has conceded less shots on, on the Champions League with a total amount of eight. And the second team on that list is Real Madrid with 25. Uh, would you say that your biggest improvement this season has been uh, on the defense? 
the defense. This is not for John or Jaime or Ruben or uh, or Kyle or Joel. So last game, Phil, Reich and, uh, and, and Gabriel, the people up front, help us. Bernardo, help us to concede few. But it's incredible, remarkable. So how few. But I think quite similar it was last season. Uh, like we didn't concede much. But after three games away, four games away, concede uh, nothing. Five, six, seven shots. It's the only way we can win games. So hopefully we can continue in this way. Muchas gracias.